Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be washing my Range Rover Villa. I'm going to be bringing you a video on the best way to get it squeaky clean if you've got the Live Shine Edition. But if not, you can still use this and it will get rid of all of the marks and make it look like brand new. So today I'm going to be using my Nilfisk Titan Extra pressure washer. Now I'm going to be connecting the hose pipe there at the front, getting that ready, using the long pressure washer there with the handle. Fill up my bucket, got the sponge ready and I'll be showing you how to get that ready to start cleaning the car. Right, so I've got everything ready, connected the pressure washer there with my hose pipe, got the bucket full of water, got my step ladder because it needs to be really tall to reach the top of this car. And I also have my Life Shine kit that was given to me by Range Rover. It's got a lot of uh, equipment in there, so we've got the shampoos, uh, wax, fast glass cleaner, and I've also got a, a tyre shine for the black tyres as well. So, oh there's one more at the back, uh, the wheel cleaner as well. So got all of the equipment ready, let's go ahead look at how much of a mess this car is. So I just got back from a four hour road trip, you can see it's squatted all these flies and bugs everywhere. They just keep smashing into the car when you're driving fast, so you can see all the blood there. Look at all this ridiculous and then also I don't know if you can see in the video on the windscreen there's loads of uh, motorway highway marks dust bugs everything at the back you just got generally it's just dusty everywhere around the sides not too bad around the sides but the roof is always the neglected parts, although I can't see it, I know there's a lot of dust on there as well. So let's go ahead, get rid of all this crap and uh, start off by putting in the shampoo into the bucket and cleaning it with the sponge. Right, this is the one you need, Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner by Autoglim. Just put one cap full in there, mix the water, get the sponge in there. Now this part is going to take a lot of effort getting all these bugs off but let's see how long it takes and hopefully I can get through it. Right, there are some stubborn bug marks still on the front, but that's what the pressure washer is for, so I'm going to be getting rid of that with that. Now I'm going to carry on, refill the bucket and do the rest of the car with the same shampoo. And then I'll move on to step two and show you guys that as well. Right, step number two, get the pressure washer and start giving the car a full rinse, pressurise it in all angles, top, bottom, left, right. And hopefully that will pressurise some of the last remaining bugs and marks off of the car. And let's have a look what we can do after that for step three. Step three, get the uh, wheel cleaner. Start spraying it on your wheels. I've got these beautiful 20 inch alloys. So I'm gonna spray that onto the metal alloys. And make sure you have a wheel cleaner as well. So separate to the sponge that you use to clean the car, otherwise it's gonna get extra dirty when you go inside into the brakes. Give it a good little scrub. Inside and out. Make sure you've covered all the dust. So I'm going right in to the back. You don't need to do the uh, tyres itself, just do the alloys. Once you've done all four, just get the pressure washer and start rinsing the tyres there. All 
Alright guys, step number four, get the aqua wax and start spraying the car everywhere and then start using a fiber cloth to just wipe it down and get that shiny new wax kind of feeling to the car as well. So as you can see, it's a bit wet, finished with the pressure washer. So you can put the pressure washer and the buckets away now. So you won't need the water anymore. So gonna start using this and I'll spray it all around, start using the fiber cloth and hopefully it starts bringing out the shine. Alright guys, the second to last step is the fast glass cleaner. Just need to spray it onto the windows. You can see all the smudges on there, I'm gonna show you in a second. Just get another microfiber cloth, I'm gonna use my light yellow one, and it should get rid of all of the little dust off the glass as well, so let's take a look. All right, you can see there, all this dust from the reflection of the sunlight. It's all over these windows, so just gonna spray the glass. And the back ones here. Go ahead and clean this. Look at that. Spotless. I'm gonna do the panels here as well. It's got some marks on there. Alright guys, and the very last step is to get the black shine for your tyres. You can buy these from any of the local car shops. So let's go ahead and finish that off and let's have a look at the car afterwards. And there we are guys, we are finished. That is the last of it. Now let's take a look 